How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. My name is Alex. We're going to be going over Pinterest stock and what exactly is happening and why it's up 12.77% on the day, uh, going from all the way from $55 per share to around $61, $62 per share. Now that is a pretty big jump in price uh, and a lot of people are very enthusiastic about the stock. So what exactly is happening uh, that caused this huge spike up. Um, so PayPal is actually in talks to buy Pinterest. So they're going to try and acquire the social media company. Um, and basically, it's not confirmed, but it is rumored. So um, if this does happen, PayPal's offer is said to be around $70 per share. So that's why we're seeing this really big increase in price because a lot of people think the stock is going to be going to $70 per share, but you have to be careful because remember this stuff isn't confirmed uh, and it definitely can fall through uh, before they actually acquire pensions. Um, so if that happens, we expect the stock to drop. But overall, Pinterest is definitely a solid company for long term, uh, and it is down pretty big from its all-time highs of around $90 per share. So even though um, it is up a lot today, it's still down quite a bit from the past few months. Uh, so while, while Pinterest is actually up a lot, PayPal, on the other hand, is down a lot. Now, this stock is actually a stock that I would rather play than Pinterest. Um, it is down on the news. Um, so if the acquisition ends up following through, PayPal stocks will definitely rebound back to around $270 per share. Overall, PayPal stock is definitely a really good company, uh, especially as e-commerce is growing. A lot of people are starting up e online businesses. Uh, online payments are definitely rising in popularity. And PayPal is definitely a really solid company. If you take a look at the five-year chart, very, very solid upward trend, really good growth, uh, and a really solid growth company. So um, Kramer actually says that PayPal is still a buy right now, uh, even though it's down 4%, 5%. Um, it's not down that much, but it is down quite a bit to provide a really good dip buying opportunity. Um, just buying and holding shares, plain and simple like that. Um, put it in a long-term portfolio uh, and just hold it, buy and hold shares of PayPal. Uh, and I do think that over the long term, you're going to see some really good growth. Uh, we take a look at the five year, as you mentioned earlier, it's up 561% in the past five years. Really solid growth company. And I s expect PayPal to do, continue to do pretty well in the future. So Kramer does think that PayPal is a really good dip buying opportunity. Uh, especially how it's down 5%. Um, and it, it does have all-time highs around $310 per share. So it has um, about a $60, $70 upside potential to rebound, basically. So a really solid company right here. Uh, if you want to buy Pinterest, that's also a really solid long-term company as well. But you have to be careful in the short term because uh, if the acquisition does fail... Uh, this stock would definitely come back down to around the to around the mid fifty five dollar range, uh, where it was previously right here. So you gotta be careful for sure. But if the acquisition does go through, we can see Pinterest definitely soaring back potentially to all time highs of around ninety dollars per share. Uh, overall, long term, this is definitely a really solid company, really solid stock. Uh, they have a lot of users now due to the pandemic. A lot of people are flocking towards Pinterest uh, as a social media platform. So overall, they have a huge user base, a uh, really solid company, and they're also bringing in a lot of good revenue, especially with their new uh, technology for AI-based ads. That's about it for this video. If it helped you in a way, please leave a like. Comment down below what your thoughts are on this news. And of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.